every day we gotta, why is it so zoomed in on my face, dude? I'm so ugly. Every day we gotta do this dance. If I wanna get the Porsche out of the garage, I gotta get my wife to move the Jeep. But at least I get to hear this nice, We is gonna get you nice and clean today. Hello. Hello ma'am, your Uber is here. Yeah. Where might I take you today? I'm telling you, I've said this since day one. If you want it to rain outside, plan to wash your car. Today we're detailing the Porsche for the first time and voila! We moved here about almost four months ago. It has not rained once. And guess what it's doing outside the day I plan to wash my car? It's not raining. I'm just saying though, But I, it's, it's, the, it's the idea. I think tomorrow when you're watching this video, SoCal, you're probably gonna have a monsoon. I'm not allowed to wash in my garage. I'm also not allowed to work on my car technically in my garage. So what we're gonna do first is, actually Victoria is gonna wash my Porsche. I'm gonna give you a nice montage at this nice little station. No brush squad, we're just gonna soap it off. We're not gonna use any of the wax or anything like that. I'm gonna detail in my garage. We're gonna get this wash started right now. In three, two, one, go. Now we gotta dry it off, boys. Do it. Look at this. My, what? my hair is caught. <laughs> Your hair is caught in the. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna do this the conventional way, though. We'll start it up and we're gonna go speedy. <laughs> we just had like a little. <laughs> That's so sick. As much as I love vlogging with this little camera, it's really convenient. It's okay, dude. I miss filming with my big boy over here. Just got such good quality. That's what I just filmed all that slow-mo with. Thankfully the neighbors are not here today. Hopefully they don't get into the garage because I'd love some space, but I've got us a little bit of space to go ahead and start detailing on the porcha. I'm gonna explain the process of what I do. I know I've made a video like this before, but since I've made that video, I know a lot of you have been new followers. So I'm gonna explain the process. If you guys don't know, I actually used to detail like semi-professionally. I used to do it as like a little bit of a job. We're gonna get this Porsche as shiny as possible today. And I'll show you all my tools and all of the uh, all the stuff that I use. And by the way, just a disclaimer, nothing in this video is sponsored. It's all just stuff that I've personally learned to like to use over the years. Here's my big bin I use for all, a lot of my detailing stuff. Not everything is in here, but this is the soap I usually use by Chemical Guys. It's amazing, it takes off any and like all the wax, but it's safe for clear coat. Unfortunately, I can't use that today, and it smells really good. I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of this stuff is just, I'm out of it. Wait a second. I didn't need to buy wax because I have a freaking ton of it in here. What did I do? I just spent $60 on a new tube of this when I already have one sitting right here. Rip. I don't actually know where that came from. I think some of this is Victoria's. And then my polisher, there's my big boy. Polisher's right here. It is a porter cable. Had this since like high school. 
Here's another bin, whipping out some of the old patty boys. Oh, whipping out some of the old soft boys. That's nice. I've got all the stuff I need right here. First step after washing is always clay barring. If you're clay barring, you need to make sure that you always polish after you do that because you scratch the hell out of your paint even though you're taking a lot of impurities out as well. Listen to how nasty this paint is. All that scraping you hear is gunk. That's a lot of crap, dude. That's all gunk being picked up by the clay. It's so much smoother now just because of that one clay bar. Feel it. Holy cow, because I know it did not feel like this before. That's like butter. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need, I'm probably going to use like more than one bar of clay, dude. This, this hood just destroyed this little, little thing, dude. I'm barely halfway done with the car and I'm already having to switch clay bars. I don't, this is absolutely wild how dirty this car is. I think one of the best ways to tell whether or not a car has ever been detailed in its life is by clay barring it. This car is so nasty, I'll show you in a second, but it's so bad that like the paint almost wants to grip this and pull the clay out of your hand. I'm stoked to get it out, but it's a really big pain in the butt. It's taking me forever to get all of it out. All right, here we go, new clay bar, who dis? I'm gonna squirge, squirge it down a little bit. Now, I'm not sure exactly if you can hear, you obviously can't feel what I can feel, but you it's hard to tell, but like, okay, so I have a really smooth surface here now. I'm gonna put the same amount of force in right over here where I haven't clayed yet. It's like, it, like, it pulls, and there we go. So it's cleaned up, try it again. Oh my God, it's like pulling it out of my fingers. It's so bad. You know, honestly, there's a million different ways you can detail a car. The reason I've steered cleared of making detail videos for so long is because everybody has a damn opinion on how to detail a car, and none of them are actually 100% correct. You can take my advice, but I'm not gonna tell you how to detail your car. Play barring is really easy, it's really simple. If I have any tips and advice for you, I'll give them to you throughout the video. I'm gonna finish clay barring this car, because it's, a freaking nightmare. Just finished the clay bar on the car. You guys saw this when it was new. This is my second clay bar, dude. This paint was nasty. Now here comes the fun part, the tiring part. Let's start polishing. Each of our neighbor's garages and our garages has one plug. And that one plug in the ceiling is not even three prong. So I've gotta take my adapter that closes and opens my garage to plug in to my extension cord. Ah, nope. <clears throat> Can he do uh, it? Yay! Oh, God. Look at those muscles. <laughs> I'm gonna use this compounding boy. I'm not gonna do any like heavy compounding on this car or anything like that because the swirls are not like crazy bad. So what I'm gonna do is use this chemical guy's stuff. I bought this off of Amazon. Recently, I've never tried chemical guys um, like polish type stuff, but I'm hoping that this is it does a good job. It's a pretty light compound in itself, but this is kind of an abrasive pad, so I'm hoping mixing the abrasion of this with the lightness of this might help just file down just enough clear coat to make it look nice. All right, get that on there. Oh, wait, never mind. We need sauce on it. Shake it up. Give her a good old, oh, there's probably a lid on the inside. Oh, it smells so good. I always prefer getting the pad really, really coated and wet before I even start using it at all. Then once it's all wet, ready to go. Dude, this is one of the this is one of my favorite looks. Seeing swirls put on by a dual action polisher, one of my favorite things. And I also ended up doing the headlights as well. They're a little scratched and kind of faded, hoping that uh, that actually did a pretty decent job. They're a little yellowed around the edges though. They look like they might have been taken off. This headlight actually looks really scratched. I'm not sure why, but they got some 
This headlight's got some really deep scratches in the plastic. I might, uh, it looks like it was like wet sanded at some point or something like that. I don't even know. Oh well, it still looks nice. I polished it, I'm gonna go ahead and wax them as well and my camera's not focusing. <laughs> It's so cool, I love it. This car has so many curves, it's unreal. And that's one of the reasons why I've always loved detailing cars. You get like really, really familiarized with your car. It's kind of like doing an engine swap or actually just doing your own maintenance. You get really familiarized with like the curves of the car and just how the body is contorted and you get a real good appreciation, especially for a Porsche, like just how much effort goes into just one of these body panels. It is a little bit bigger than a Miata, but thankfully it's small enough to where it's really easy to detail. So this detail is not gonna take all day like my Subaru STI or my Jeep SRTA did. A few moments later. The car has now been fully polished. Polished did a pretty good job. It's definitely not the best one I've ever used. I noticed that it got out a lot of the smaller swirls that were up here on the roof. But overall, I think it did a pretty good job and it definitely, I mean, it's for sure shinier. I mean, as you can tell, that paint's like almost reflective. That looks like the freaking bean in, in Boston or whatever it is. Like that's pretty damn reflective. Even still, it's definitely not the best I've used, but it definitely does a good job. I took away a lot of like the, the blemish cover-ups that CarMax did when they sold me the car. When they sold me the car, they probably had like sharpied a lot of these in or like some really light touch up paint or something like that but there's a lot of rock chips in the front so I'm gonna have to definitely cover that up. I need to get something to cover that up but uh, those rock chips are, are pretty deep. Now comes my personal favorite part about detailing, almost tripped over my car, wax. Wax is the final stage and uh, thankfully I had a really easy job doing this today. I didn't do a bunch of stages of compound and stuff like that. Usually I do three stages if the car is bad enough, but this car is okay. I did just buy more of this. This is the wax I always use. This is probably the best paint sealant. I don't know, it, it lasts a long time on cars. This is probably the best that I've ever used. You need to shake it up a ton. It's really thick. We're gonna put this on the car. We're gonna let it wait for about, what time is it? We're gonna let it wait for probably about two to three hours and then we're gonna come back and wipe it off. The Porsche has officially been waxed, boys. That's nice. And we're done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. I've gotta admit, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk a little bit. My back's gonna ruin the wax that I just spent so much time doing. I, I want you guys know that I just, I used to love detailing. You know, it's, it's fun for me, it's very relaxing, and it brings out my inner obsessive compulsive disorder. It allows me to just really just cater to that side of myself. But what I really enjoy most about this video is I, I realize like I'm not doing this video for views. It's nice to take a day every now and then to not just do something to where I'm trying to appeal to a new audience or trying to impress a new person that I don't need to impress. And I've also spent a lot of time lately trying to impress people that I don't need to impress. I'm always working on myself and I don't always verbalize it, but the most important things in my life I always like to try and verbalize to let you guys know what I'm, what is going on in my life and what I'm trying to work on. So I'm trying to be a better me and I want to cater to the people that don't, not to the people that hate me, you know, because I feel like a lot of times I make videos like for the haters, you know, I try to prove a point. I don't need to do that. I want to cater to the people that love my channel and love who I am. So I'm going to try and do a better job at that. But we're going to wait for a couple hours for this dingus to dry off a little bit. I'm going to, I need to turn the car around. It's really windy and dusty in California. So it's, it's going to get really nasty. So I don't want it to get nasty. I'm going to turn the car around. So I need wifey to come down and do the swiggity swoopy. Two hours later. All right. I don't know why I'm running. Let's see how she turned out. Here it is, boys. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna try and do the best walk around I can. Unfortunately, this garage is extremely dark. There actually is a few small scratches still. So I guess maybe I, I might have been able to go a little bit harder with the polishing. I have to admit, it's so hard to cleanly wipe off all of that wax, especially after it's been sitting there for a couple hours. This is a pretty solid representation of what this car looks like right now. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's a mirror. No, dude, that's not a mirror. That's my Porsche's door. I actually missed a little bit of wax on the hood, so it doesn't look that great right now, but 
I, I wish I had some room to take it out. We're actually running out of daylight. I'll probably just reveal what it looks like outside in, uh, in the video I make on Monday. I'm stoked because the Porsche is finally like, it's clean, it's taken care of, it's super, it's bomb, dude. Actually, shh, don't tell my neighbors. I'm gonna open up their garage real quick. Ah, that looks much better. That is so sick how clean it is right now. I need to do some tire shine, and I'm gonna go ahead and polish up the wheels and do some more stuff, but my full detail usually just includes paint, and then I, I focus on a few minor areas here and there. Now I need to go through and get like a little like ear swab and go through and make sure, like for this right here, I need to make sure that I get all the wax out of the Cayman sign. It's really hard to do that, so I usually just get like a little Q-tip and do that carefully, but damn, son. Damn, son. You gotta like that thick booty, though. I don't know what you gotta like that thick booty, bro. That's crazy, bro. See, I'm bro. He got that, he got that, uh, that swag exhaust, bro. Shoot, bro. And it's uh, so shiny over here, out here, bro. Sure, he got that crazy tail lights going on, bro. He got that nice rips and them. That's uh, so crazy, bro. One thing I don't understand is this tail light is covered in, like, something that doesn't come off. It looks like water spots, but they're not water spots. I'm extremely, maybe it's like clear coat or something. I don't know. I want to take some acetone actually and rub it on here and try and get that off because I have no clue what in the world that is on that plastic. There you have it. My camera's not focusing on me. I hope I explained it okay. I mean, I made like an hour long video like three years ago with my Subaru STI explaining everything that I do and I, even though that was a long time ago and my editing was terrible, my presence was terrible, I still think it's a very helpful video. So if you're looking at some serious, serious help in detailing, I did make kind of a how to detail. It's a full detail Super STI video. You can watch that. All right, neighbors, just close your garage. It's all right, they drive a minivan, it's fine. Broskies, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this is very popularly requested, so I hope it, uh, hope it suited your needs and made you happy inside. If it didn't, then I'm sorry. Again, I'll be in Texas next week, and if you want any meet and greet info, it's on Twitter and on Snapchat, so follow me there. Peace out, and be victorious. Shoot, bro, you got that. You got some crazy, crazy, shiny. Shoot, bro, I need to name this character that I talk about like this, bro. I'm gonna name him, like, Raquise or something like that, or what's, is that racist, or like, what's, what's good, bro? What am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying?